Welcome back to the course guys. In this video we are going to create our buyer persona which is our typical targeted customer so we better understand on how to speak to our potential customer, how to market to our potential customer and how to create ads to our potential customer more targeted. Okay, so let's dive into it. Now, this is what a buyer persona looks like. This is Lisa Marshall. You can see her gender, age, location, relationship status, a lot of information that we have collected through our social media platforms, through our website, and maybe through our ads. And why we would like to have a buyer persona is to be more targeted towards our customer. Lisa Marshall is not real, she is made up based on statistics and also based on assumptions. In the beginning, when you don't have enough data on your potential customer, you need to make one up and you need to make some assumptions. So just know that the buyer persona is a fiction person that resembles, that look like your potential customer. So the first step to creating a buyer persona that resembles, that looks like your potential customer is to put yourself into your customer's shoes. How are they thinking? What are their interests? What are their behaviors, etc. Then the second step is to use the free template that we have provided inside of this video. I'm gonna show you step by step on how to build out this buyer persona. So let's start. So first of all, for this video, let's take the example of we wanting to sell this digital marketing agency course that you see on the screen right now. Okay, so we have something that we would like to sell. Either you're having a product, maybe you're having a service, maybe you are a marketer or a freelancer, it doesn't really matter. Just uh, try to follow along step by step in this video and you will get a better understanding on how to create a buyer persona. This could be also if you're having several different products for several different audiences, you have to start by creating one buyer persona and then you can build out more buyer personas. All right, so let's start. So this is the goal, guys. On the left-hand side, we are having a story where we're answering three different questions. Pain points, goals, and how we or I can help this potential customer. And then on the right-hand side, you can see that we're having information and a picture. And we're gonna paint this blank Canva right now. So let's start off with the first point in this video, which is do your customer research. You need to understand your customer. Who are your customer? Where do they live? What age do they have? What gender do they have? Etc. How can you get this information? Let me show you three different ways. First off, by Google Analytics. If you're having a website and you have that connected with Google Analytics, you can read out some information. If you look on the screen right now, you can read out information like the age and also the gender, and you can just write that down. Go into Google Analytics if you're having it connected to your website. If you don't, just follow along in this video. And then if you're having a Facebook page, for example, you can go to that Facebook page, go into the insights, click on insights, and then go down and click on the left-hand side on people. And then you can read out some information like genders, also the age group and the country of the people that are following your Facebook page. So you can write that down as well. And then you can go in if you're having a YouTube channel, for example, you can go in and read out the gender, the age and the top countries from the people who are watching your videos. Now, social media platforms like Instagram also have this installed. So if you're having an Instagram account and you have switched that to a business account, you can basically just go into your settings and go down all the way to that insight information around your account and see who are uh, liking your post, who are seeing your post and where do they come from in the age group, etc. which is valuable information. Now, if you don't have any social media platforms, that's cool. We will build them up step by step. Then the second thing we need to do to build out our buyer persona is to identify our customer's pain point with similar services or product that we are providing. What kind of problem do they have? If you were to buy a pair of sneakers, what are the most common pain points with buying sneakers? You can go to forums like reddit.com, 
type in whichever topic that your products or services is about and you can read out a lot of answers and questions within this good forum. So reddit.com is one website and then you can go to quora.com. This is more like a question and answer platform, social media platform, which is really, really helpful. You can just type in your question there and then when, within a couple of days you will have a lot of answers. So you can do some proper research here around your product or service. You can also go to Amazon if you're selling a physical product like a shirt for example you can go in here and you can go down all the way to customer reviews and see what type of pain points they have you can also do the same with Google let's say that you're selling a service then what type of pain points do your customer normally have with services maybe within your area if you're selling a service that is location based and go in there and read other people's reviews and then stick to the bad reviews so by reading the bad reviews you can basically see what types of pain points your potential customers are having and then the third thing before we are building out our buyer persona would be to identify our customers goals what are our customers biggest goals you can go to reddit.com and just type in any question here you can go to Quora and do the same you can go to Amazon which is a great website and just read out the bad reviews and the good reviews what types of goals you have to do some digging here to understand your potential customer if you already haven't sent out a survey with questions to your customers and you don't understand their goals then you can also do that with google's forms but this is also a good way to just uh, see what other people are writing about other people's products and services and you can also go to google as i said before let's say that somebody is searching for a plumber in new york then you can just go and uh, search for that and then you can tap on see reviews where the arrow is pointing at right now and then you can just read out the reviews what types of goals do my potential customer have and then we would like to identify on how you can help them how can you help your potential customer with your product or with your services now this could be a puzzle in its own but by doing your customer research by identifying your customers pain point identifying their goals and understand on how you can help them we can now start building out our buyer persona so let's do that now we would like to collect things like information and we would also like to put up a picture of our potential customer now of course we don't know how they are looking so we have to make that up in our mind we have to be a little bit creative because if we are having a picture and some information good information about this customer we are having some kind of background story we know exactly on how to speak to these potential customers in our ads in our blog posts in our content on our social media platforms etc so let's start first off we know by the stats that we had in the beginning on our social media platforms that we were gender neutral what we're meaning with that is some platforms show that there were more male than female and the other platforms show the other way around that's why this course is targeted both to females and males that's why we're making this gender neutral then we would like to actually give this buyer persona a name so we're giving them a name of Robin with a Y, which is gender neutral. And then we would like to see what age groups are this person in. And the most of the people that are visiting our YouTube channel, our Facebook page and our website is actually between the age 25 to 34. And these types of information that I will put out here is actually pretty aligned to Facebook ads. So if we were to go in and create some Facebook ads later on inside of this course, then you will understand that this will be much easier for you to then target those people because you have all the statistics already which is a little shortcut to success. And then we have the location. The location is from Pakistan, mostly because our YouTube channel is targeting Pakistan. And then we're having the relationship status. We don't have any information around this at all. And then we're skipping it for now. And then we're having the work. What kind of work do your potential customer have? 
we put in small business owner because we think that our potential customer are pretty driven, want to build their digital marketing agency. So that's why here you just put in whatever work based on the statistics that you've got. Maybe you have run some Facebook ads before or something like that. If you don't have any clue, you can just try to assume something for now. So just type in anything there. What type of work do they have? Are they studying? etc and then we're having the interest this is interesting so this person is interested in online education and marketing they have to be interested in those two topics in order for us to be able to sell this online course to them and then we're having the behaviors what types of behaviors do they have our potential customer are running facebook business page admin groups they are really really driven and then we're having website history this is very good if we would like for example to target people with google ads to understand their website history on how they are browsing around and the same goes for the search terms if we're creating google ads this is essential to understand on how they're searching on google in order for us to target those exact terms in order for us to make more money so for example the search term here would be start marketing agency or business startup steps how to get marketing clients now maybe you don't have a clue on the search terms for your potential customers but just put yourself in their shoes what would you search for in google if you were looking for that exact product or service and just type them down you can pause this video at any time and then left we have the picture okay so i choose a female even though our product is gender neutral i choose a female and you can just go to pixabay.com i can have it in the resources for you and you can just go there and you can pick any picture there that you feel like fitting your buyer persona so now it's time for the story guys okay so the story on the left hand side as you can see we still do want to sell our digital marketing agency course and there's a three-step process in order to write this story to understand on how we are going to talk to this customer whether we are creating ads we are creating content on our blog on our social media channels and so on so there's three steps to this pain points we are already talking talked about it then we're having the goals and then we're having how I can help so we are going to create a little story and this will make it so much easier for us later on when we're going out there creating content and are creating our ads because if we're knowing how to speak to this person instead of just writing random things online we will get better results so the pain points if you're looking on the left hand side just underneath pain points i have written a little story so it goes like this robin doesn't get the number of clients robin needs to build and maintain the business robin wants Robin has taken other online courses, watched numerous YouTube videos without finding the right information to get the business going the way Robin wishes. So this is the pain point. Robin has taken other online courses, watched numerous of YouTube videos, trying to find the right information online, maybe went to Google numerous of times, trying to find the right information in order to start building this agency and to keep it going. But Robin hasn't found the right information yet. So what are Robin's goal? Robin's goal is to find enough clients to start and run his or her own digital marketing agency to support his or her own family did you see what i did here i told the goal and i told the why the goal is to start and run his or her own digital marketing agency and the why is to support his or her family and i would like you to build out your story the same way and then how can i help you with this well we are confident in helping Robin with his or hers goal by selling Robin our digital marketing agency course and answering all the questions along the way till he or she meets their goal. 
All right, so now we have a story, we have information, we have a picture, we basically have our potential customer right in front of us. Now I can take a screenshot of this and I can print it out and I can put it up on my wall. And now it's time for you to build out your buyer persona. And I'm not just gonna leave you here, I'm gonna give you a template. So let me show you the template in order for you to build out your own buyer persona before you do your marketing and ads okay guys so this is the buyer persona template this is what you are going to use once you are ready to build out your buyer persona just go to the resources of this video click that little link and it will be downloaded to your computer or to your mobile phone and then you can go into this document and just customize it just the way you want to and one thing that i haven't mentioned already is you are having or you're building out a buyer persona based on the information that you're having today maybe you don't even have that much information or maybe you have tons of information maybe you already are having a business product and service to sell well then it's good for you but along the way the more ads that you're running the more content that you're creating the more information you will get inside of your social media platforms inside of your website inside of your ads account and therefore you always would like to go into your buyer persona and edit that persona based on the new information that you're getting so for example the gender here we have neutral but maybe for you it's also gender neutral products that you're selling but you see that it's 80 percent men that's actually buying this type of product then it's better for you to target only men and the age groups for example as well maybe you figure out well i'm creating a youtube channel and i'm selling stuff on that youtube channel and i think that uh, my buyers will be between 25 and 34 and maybe that's true to the beginning because you're thinking that and maybe then you see that this actually false it's actually an older age group that are interested in my products and services and the same with all these type of information but for now just go in here and fill out this find a photo create a story about your potential customers based on the pain points they're having the goals they're having and how you can help them and always have in mind that you would like to go in and edit this the more information that you're getting within your ads within your content and so on okay guys so good luck with your buyer persona i'll see you in the next video